This tutorial is going to be on how to insert a gallery, a standard gallery um, for WordPress. So you can go to Poster Pages. I've selected Pages. Um, we're just going to go in here and call this a test gallery. Um, and we're going to go to the regular upload, insert photos, go to our computer, and um, hold on find some photos okay there's four photos now I just uh, selected these photos here they're uploading uh, the way to uh, upload more than one photo at a time is simply to click on control the control button on your keyboard and uh, keep clicking and you can just uh, click the upload and they'll all be coming up at the same time now this is pretty simple I just uploaded all of my photos right here um, I'm gonna show you how to put their titles on so this already has a title I'll just call it facts here here's the alt tags go here I'm not going to put captions on these, but if I wanted captions, they would go here, in the description here. Now, because I want to show you how to do a uh, general uh, gallery insertion, I'm basically going to go you know, over all this stuff right here and save the changes. Okay, so after we have put all of our photos and the information for the photos, we save the changes and that'll take us here so here we are looking well we have six photos in the gallery um, and this gives us the, the chance down here gallery settings to uh, link thumbnails to the image file or to an attachment page if you have a uh, plugin that makes your photos larger then you might want to click here image file you would know if your photos get larger basically you would just click on the photo and it would open up a slideshow um, those are plugins that are sent to uh, sites and uh, whoever owns the site would basically know whether or not the photos increased so I'm just gonna say uh, it's gonna open to image file and uh, the menu order you can set it to uh, the time date random we only have a few photos so just leave that as it is as ascending order and down here we have the cal uh, uh, gallery column option so uh, we can have two photos in a row three photos I'm going to select three so it's even and in two rows and I'm going to say insert gallery here we have the gallery uh, and we're going to click publish and we're going to view page and this is our gallery so we have three photos here and this is what happens if you uh, basically have no uh, settings for uh, this to pop out uh, if it were set to attachment show you the difference let's go to our gallery here uh, here we're going to say attached page update most people don't have to worry about this because they have uh, a page set in already or a plugin set in already where they can go click on the photo and the photo increases in size on its own they don't have to have all these attachment pages okay well that's the basics of having the um, gallery default gallery this is the default gallery for WordPress and it's just that simple again if you want to edit your gallery you would just click on the photo in the corner and it would give you the opportunity to either add more photos to this gallery from your computer so you could upload more and it would go right into the gallery and uh, then you would just click update you can take photos out you can delete them okay Hold on. you can also uh, drop and drag them so let's suppose I want this photo first I would basically just uh, move it around like that and as you see here this would then give the photos a placement you see the numbers change in this section right there so I could 
drop and drag in the order that I actually want them to be viewed and then I would just save the settings update gallery and I would update the page as well and now let's go back and uh, the order which I changed it and would be there and that's about it that's all there is to setting a default gallery I'll uh, have some more videos on how to have other gallery settings um, shortly I have uh, the uh, flash gallery and the next gen gallery and um, again people who own these um, galleries uh, I will tell them which videos to watch precisely uh, but this is very simple and anybody could use it because it's a default gallery so whether or not you have other galleries already installed on your site if you want to create a post simple way and insert a simple gallery into maybe you have a special and you want a few photos this is probably the easiest way to insert some new photos for that.